Hi, my name is Jeff Pritchard with Bridge Athletic, and today I'm going to be walking you through our percent difficulty weight parameter. So as you've been programming, I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've encountered our percent difficulty under the weights tab. So as you see here, I have a bench press barbell that I'm prescribing to my athletes, and I'm using percent difficulty currently. As I do this drop-down tab, I can select percent difficulty by just navigating to the bottom, choosing it, and then being able to prescribe from it. So now the question is, what is percent difficulty? How do I use it? And when is it appropriate for my athletes? So percent difficulty is our update to the standardized use of one rep maxes for prescribing weight. So it's used to define a prescription that accounts for the relationship between the percentage of the rep max and the number of reps prescribed. So as compared to percent one RME, which is always just deriving off of weight and not reps, our percent difficulty has expanded to include the number of reps prescribed as well as the max weight in history. So prescribing workouts based on an athlete's percentage of one, one rep max regularly requires testing and varying calculations to determine the correct prescription when assigning two or more repetitions. And so as I'm assigning with percent difficulty, it's important to remember that the number of reps is always going to change how the percent difficulty responds. So our algorithm determines a correct prescription based off the athlete's past history and the number of reps as a factor when determining weight. For example, 100% difficulty is defined as the number of reps the athlete can complete at this weight and no more. So by this standard, what we're expecting is that the athlete is going to be given a weight that they can complete for eight reps and not be able to do a single rep afterwards. That is what we consider 100% difficulty or our eight rep maximum. And so 100% difficulty is always going to be a max for that number of reps. So as we look at this and I change the number of reps, if I were to go to six reps at 100% difficulty or four reps at 100% difficulty or two reps at 100% difficulty, so as you see here, each of these are marked at 100% difficulty. If this was one rep max, all of these weight values would be the exact same. The only change would be the number of reps the athlete has to complete. However, I'm using percent difficulty. This means that basically each of these work sets is a max. The first one is eight reps at the maximum amount of weight you can complete. Six reps at the maximum amount of weight you complete. Or eight rep max, six rep max, four rep max, and a two rep maximum. By prescribing in percent difficulty, it allows you to assign a range of difficulty, such as 85% difficulty will give you something where you have five to six reps left in the tank. So if you're prescribing and you want your athletes to be doing a weight that is going to be challenging, but not pushing near their maximum, if that's your goal from your phase or your, sin or your workout for the day, you can prescribe percent difficulty with that in mind and be trusting that the system will assign weights appropriate to each athlete without you having to do calculations based off their percent one rep max to the number of reps. So the use of percent difficulty really allows for coaches to build and for athletes to experience programs that are updating, changing, and evolving as the program progresses. Because this is based partially on your history as compared to a one rep max, it doesn't require the athlete or the coach to consistently update their test data. As the athlete enters weights for percent difficulty, so if we had three weeks of this bench press where every time they completed a set in the system, it would update to help account for their history going forward. So as they may do more weight than prescribed or less weight than prescribed and enter it in the app, the system will recognize that and account for it going forward. So maybe this athlete was assigned eight reps at 100% difficulty and is only able to complete seven at that, web, at that weight range. So he marks seven. Our system will recognize that this athlete has a much lower eight rep max than what we predicted and account for it going forward. Alternatively, maybe they can do 10 reps at this weight. So they enter 10. Our system will see that they have a higher eight rep max than what we've accounted for, update, and assign more appropriately going forward. 